Hello, pool players, and welcome back to Mar Guy Billiards. Uh, today's video, we're going to look at a shot uh, that comes up uh, fairly often. Um, this is, video is more for the, uh, the learning player, inexperienced player, um, who may not know what to do in this particular situation. Uh, if you're an advanced player, more advanced player, certainly you know the shot. What we have is your, you have your eight ball, but in this case, we're playing nine ball. Your eight ball is pretty much in the jaws. Maybe your opponent jawed it and left it there. Your nine ball is right here, and your cue ball is somewhere along this line, about a half a diamond in from the rail. You're not hooked behind the nine, but you're, you're fairly straight in. So the question becomes, how do you get shape on that nine ball? You want the cue ball to be back over here, where it is right now for an easy shot on the nine ball. But looking at this shot, if you're an inexperienced player who maybe always hits center ball, what'll happen is if I hit center ball, that cue ball is going to track towards the side pocket like this. Okay, and I certainly don't want to shoot this shot from this angle. Because uh, it's a very difficult shot. And if you're a beginner or a beginner type player, that's probably uh, next to an impossible shot. So if you try to use a, a little bit of follow English, you, it, the same thing's going to happen. The cue ball is going to track towards that side pocket on my right-hand side. And again, you don't want to be left with this shot. I don't care how good of a player you are. That's just a tough shot, especially if you're playing on diamond, diamond tables or crown tables like this where the corner pockets are unforgiving. Now, the easy way to play this shot is with some straight right-hand English, right on the horizontal line. It doesn't take a big power stroke because that English is going to kick off the rail and just take off and bring the cue ball back over in this direction somewhere. So you don't have to power stroke it. Obviously, you don't want to hit it too soft, but you don't have to hit it very hard. Just like that. And that's a very, that's a pretty easy makeable shot. Now you could practice this. Now, I, I forgot to mention, if you try high right, it, it's going to bring the cue ball over here for a shot on the nine, but the problem with that is you're going you're gonna to end up way back here, a much longer shot than you would like to shoot, especially on a table like this. Now you'd much rather be up here than two diamonds back because this is a much more difficult shot. If you're a beginner player. So you can set that up players and you can experiment with the, with the, uh, eight ball or the final object ball before the money ball further away from the pocket <clears throat> like this in instead of using just uh, right hand English like this although there's certainly nothing wrong with that I might try to use low right, in this case, at about the five o'clock position. Mm -hmm. 
and bring the cue ball over here. But that's a much more difficult stroke to make than just a straight uh, left hand, left hand English. That's almost going to work out perfectly every time. Let's try that one more with the, with the ball a little further away from the pocket than in the jaws. And with the, with the object ball further away from the pocket like that, with just straight right hand English right on, the, <clears throat> right on the horizontal line, the side pocket comes into play. But anytime you're bringing the, the cue ball, two rails, the side pocket's always potentially going to come into play. Uh, but that's a chance you're going to want to take instead of leaving yourself this shot if you just played center ball. So just to recap, eight balls pretty much in the jaws. You're back here, even if you're further back like this, you're still gonna play the, the shot the same. Just straight right hand English right on the horizontal line of the cue ball. Just like that. <clears throat> so when you're faced with this situation, players with the eight ball is pretty much fairly in the jaws. Your nine ball is right here. And actually your money ball could be down here too. Whether it's here or here, you want the cue ball somewhere around this, this zone. So you can shoot either in that pocket or that pocket. It's not a hard shot once you figured it out. Practice it a few times, you'll get a feel for it. And when you're faced with that situation, you'll know exactly what to do. And you're going to win that game and move on to your next match. Thank you for visiting Bar Guy Billiards. And as always, we'll see you at the table next time. See ya.